in our earlier videos, we looked at the break-even analysis when a company only had one product. Um, most, if not all companies, have multiple products. So let's take a look at how we would determine the break-even uh, if there were multiple products present. For this, we're going to use the demonstration problem we did in class. Uh, we're going to be working on demonstration problem number CPV3. Uh, that includes data that came from the earlier demonstration problem, uh, CPV1. So I've got the two of them up on the screen. Uh, you'll notice this template looks very similar to the template that you're using for the uh, assignment number four homework problem. So let's take a look at how we're going to set this up. In our given information, there are two products, the circular saw and the jigsaw. In the problem three, it tells us that the circular saw has a selling price of $200 with variable cost of $120. In our earlier problem, we saw that the jigsaw had a selling price of $150 and variable cost of $90. With the two products, the fixed cost is $68,000, and that is for the uh, entire firm. In our problem, it tells us that the sales mix is in a ratio of 3 to 2. Now, you can be presented with the sales mix that is a ratio such as this. You can be given the percentages, or you can be told the budgeted sales for each of the products, where then you would have to add them up to find the total number of units sold, and then divide each into the total to find the percentage. In this scenario where we have the ratio, for every five units sold, three will be jigsaws. So our percentage will be three divided by five, or 60 percent. Our circular saw for every five that is sold, two will be circular saws, and its percentage is 40 percent. So now we can come over to the left side of the template and begin filling in our information. For the circular saw, the weight is the 40 percent that we calculated. The jigsaw is 60%. Our selling price for the circular saw is $200. For the jigsaw, the selling price is $150. Our variable cost is $120. For the jigsaw and ninety dollars, excuse me, one hundred twenty for the circular saw and ninety dollars for the jigsaw. For each of our products, the contribution margin will be the selling price minus the variable cost. So for the circular saw, it is eighty dollars. For the jigsaw. It is sixty dollars. In this template, we're going to use the contribution margin ratio, uh, and that will be uh, weighted based on our sales mix of sixty forty. So to do that, we need to determine the weighted average revenue, and that will be made up of two components: the revenue from the circular saw, which will be weighted by the sales mix, and the jigsaw, which will also be weighted by the sales mix. So our formula for that will take the selling price of the circular saw, multiply it by the sales mix, and to that we're going to add in the selling price of the jigsaw times the sales mix for the jigsaw. So the weighted average revenue is $170. For the weighted average contribution margin, 
we will take the contribution margin for the jigsaw, multiply it by its sales mix, and we will do the same for the jigsaw. Take the contribution margin, multiply it by the sales mix, and that will give us our weighted average contribution margin. Our weighted average contribution margin ratio or percentage is going to be the weighted average contribution margin divided by the weighted average revenue, or 40%. So now we can solve for the break-even point in dollars by using the contribution margin ratio of 40%. We have our fixed cost of 68000 And just like we would for a single product, we're going to take our fixed cost divided by our contribution margin and this shows that overall we will need to have a total of one hundred and seventy thousand dollars in sales to break even given this sales mix. Now we can use the contribution margin weighted average to determine the number of units that we have to sell overall. To do that, we're going to apply the, need to know the fixed cost. We'll then divide that by the weighted average CM, and that will give us our break even in units. So again, our six fixed cost is going to be 68000 A weighted average contribution margin is what we determined before. It's still $68,000. 68, $68. So we will take the fixed cost divided by the weighted average contribution margin the same way we would if it was a single product. Take the fixed cost divided by the contribution margin and that tells us we need to sell 1,000 units. Since 40% of those units will be circular saws, that means we need to sell 400 circular saws and 600 jigsaws to break even.